open models has really revolutionized artificial intelligence last year. This entire industry is going to be reshaped as a result of that. Now, we had this inkling some time ago. You might have heard that several years ago, we just started to build and operate our own AI supercomputers. We call them DGX clouds. We're building these DGX supercomputers for our own use. Well, it turns out we have billions of dollars of supercomputers in operation so that we could develop our open models. I am so pleased with the work that we're doing. It is starting to attract attention all over the world and all over the industries because we are doing frontier AI model work in so many different domains. The work that we did in proteins, in digital biology, La Proteina, to be able to synthesize and generate proteins, open fold three to understand the, un understand the structure of proteins. Evo two, how to understand and generate multiple proteins, otherwise the beginnings of cellular, cellular representation. Earth two, AI that understands the laws of physics, the work that we did with ForecastNet, the work that we did with Cordiv, really revolutionized the way that people are doing weather prediction. Nemotron, we're now doing groundbreaking work there. The first hybrid transformer SSM model that's incredibly fast can, and therefore can think very quickly and produce very, very smart, intelligent answers. Nemotron 3 is groundbreaking work. Cosmos, a frontier open world foundation model, one that understands how the world works. Groot, a humanoid robotic system, articulation, mobility, locomotion, these models, these technologies are now being integrated and in the, each one of these cases, open to the world. Frontier human or robotics models open to the world. 